from Las Vegas, it's theCUBE, covering AWS reInvent 2018. Brought to you by Amazon Web Services, Intel, and their ecosystem partners. Good to have you here on theCUBE as we continue our coverage at AWS reInvent, or day three here in Las Vegas in the Sands Expo Hall D, and we got about a half hour, come by and say hi to us if you would. Bon, uh, I'm here with uh, uh, Rebecca Knight, John Walls, and two gentlemen here to join us, one from GitLab, Brendan Young, who is the Vice President of Alliances. Brendan, good to see you, sir. Thank you for having us. And uh, Alex Sale, Platform Engineering at Beacon Platform. Hello, Alex, yes, how are you doing? Not bad, I'm surviving the uh, whole experience. <laughs> yeah, well, let's, well, let's talk about the whole experience first. Yes. I mean, I mean what, what have you picked up this week? I've picked up that AWS is going very much into this sort of enterprise space. And that seems like, you saw that theme last year, and I think this year it's even more so that they're really catering towards how enterprise and then big organizations are getting in. And I think that's been a big, you can see it in the, how they're doing their storage strategies, how they're doing their network strategies, and how they're just really targeting towards security and compliance and governance. And I think that's a big theme that's from last year to this year, and I think it's going to continue on. Yeah, they've been waving a big flag, for sure, telling the enterprise it's safe to come on board, the public yeah. cloud's open for you. Oh, yeah, uh, Brendan, sure. if you would, uh, yes. you are telling us, sir, that you, you were at Google for quite some time. I was, yeah. Worked yes. on some fairly high profile projects there, and you've been at yes. GitLab five months now. Five it's months, It's a big yes. transition for you. What, what was behind that? Um, so a couple of it is, I mean, when we get down to it, sometimes you're either, you're either a builder or a runner, just in the way you're oriented. And I'm a builder, so the biggest thing was, Loved building that kind of from the ground up with Google. Uh, amazing team, they did an amazing job. We got to do a lot of really fun things. Um, was looking for something kind of new. And um, I'd worked with GitLab um, since I ran the partner organization at, at, uh, for a lot of the partners at Google. I uh, had worked with them for a number of years. And um, you know, it's, it's rare when you work regularly with the company that you get surprised. So um, uh, the, the kind of the point that I was like, oh, I really need to look into this more deeply is, I'd done detailed work with GitLab for years, and um, I was in a meeting with uh, Sid, their, Sid, our CEO, and he, he kind of, hey, you know what we're up to? And I'm like, oh, of course I know what we're up to, right? Because that's, you always answer that. I mean, you don't answer the question, no, I have no <laughs> idea what you're up to. We, we, we met four weeks ago, of course I know what you're up to. And uh, he's really humble, but simply like, oh, hey, you want to see me enter? Hey, this is what we're working on. Slides across a Forrester report, and he's like, oh, in the CI space, under three years, we went from no product to the very best in the business, beat out Microsoft and CloudBees and all these, and I was like, wait, I didn't know you were in the CI space. I shouldn't say this publicly, but <laughs> I'm like, right. That's all right. I didn't know that. It's okay, you got the job. Yeah, yeah, right. it's okay, yeah, no, I'm safe, but the ability, that just the speed that the company moves, yep. everyone says it, but like, when you can go that fast with that kind of quality, I was like, I got to dig deeper, and so yep. we just kind of went down that path, and it's been, uh, it's been, Quite an adventure. Um, obviously, uh, Microsoft playing GitHub is made for a whole lot of discussions in a whole lot of different ways for us. Yeah. Um, and competition's good, so it's been a lot of, a lot right. of fun. Well, we definitely want to talk about the GitLab and Beacon Platform yes. partnership, yes. but I want yes. to first yes. to ask you, Alex, to, to tell our viewers a little bit more about the Beacon Platform. So, Beacon is a, or Beacon Platform as a company it came out of the financial services from the large banks, the, the Goldman Sachs, the JP Morgans, the Bank of America. And in those places, internally, they actually have this quite open source-like culture where there is people contributing to the same code base, there's a, a life cycle of how things are done, and it's rapid moving. And people don't associate that with large banks, but there is these products out there. In fact, some of the Goldman Sachs partners refer to those as the golden source, or the secret source. And if large banks can do it, why can't someone else? Mm -hmm. So we've taken those experiences that people have done for years to build these communities, best practices, and prescriptions and turn it into a product. So we've taken the same model of, here is a set of financial tooling and infrastructure and toolboxes to make financial applications, and we've brought it to the smaller bunch. So your insurance companies, your even your large banks, insurance, commodity, commodities firms, insurance people, they can take our platform and then bring their own analytics and then build financial applications that they want on top of it, and whilst doing so be ensure that they are compliant with, with security, They're, we've, we've done the governance for you, we've done the security for you, all you have to do is put your good ideas to use and make applications. So, so give us some examples of the business problems that this platform solves. So, 
typically in the financial space, the people that have the great ideas are quants, and they're by nature mathematicians. They're not developers, they're not UX people, they're not UI designers. They're certainly not security people, and yet they are the people that are driving the core business and the, the value. And so the question is, how do we make them be productive? How do we make sure that they, their lives are easier? Which means you give them an IDE, you give them a life cycle for software that they can start saying, ooh, I've got an idea, I'll hack it up. And when it's hacked, they can publish it, it comes out the other end, and all the reporting is underneath it, it's there. The security is there, the compliance is there. All the authentication is there. And that idea has now been actualized in the matter of days, weeks, rather than months and years. And that means that our customers can take these ideas that they've been working on or just conceiving and turn it into reality in a very short amount of time. And then be comfortable that the, that whole platform itself remains secure, compliant, and all the same thing that Amazon is actually touting to us. Yeah. You know, it seems like if, you, if your, your focus, your core competence was, or is, financial services, mm -hmm. I mean, you're starting at a very uh, high level of demand client, right? Yes. And, and appropriately so. And so there are a lot of lessons that migrate to other businesses that I would assume are quite attractive to them. Yes. Because if, if you mention your client, your BOA, if they've got comfort, I have comfort, right? Yes. Because how much of that do you see that the experiences that you've developed or, or that you have put them through translate in a, in a very positive way to all, not other sectors? We've found that some of our customers are starting off in the cloud and they're taking the cloud journey. They're financial companies that want to take the journey to the cloud, but they don't really know how to. And so we as a company which has already running on the cloud, are, as a company we don't actually own a physical single server. We're all in the cloud, all in. And they, they, our customers come to us to say, how are you in the cloud? What do you do? You have the experience, you've worked at these places. How does that all work? And so we give them a sort of, in the same way that our platform does, prescriptive advice on how things are going to be done. And our customers come along with us on the journey. Right. And so we take the custom on, customers on their cloud journey, whereas the customers are taking us on their needs and bringing their needs and what they need to us to say, I want to build an application like this. What more do I need to do? What do I have to do? And so it's a very collaborative relationship between our customers to say, I can help you in the cloud space, you can help me help us in the financial idea space, and together we can actually make applications. Whatever we build ourselves becomes, we can resell it to others, mm -hmm. whilst the customer's intellectual property can stay with them. And that, it's a, it's a really interesting collaboration of Symbiotic in many respects, right? Yes. I mean, oh, yeah. you're leaning on them. And what about the relationship between the two of you then in terms of? Sure, yeah, so um, as much as Beacon is very financial services focused, we're, you know, we're, we're DevOps tool, end-to-end -end DevOps tool for, uh, for anyone, right? So uh, in many ways what Beacon is doing is taking what GitLab's done uh, about building that whole tool chain, because there's really a tool chain crisis out there of if you start looking at what needs to be set up for a developer. Like, they want to live in their IDE, do their development, be, you know, and publish, as he said. But if you start looking at what that needs to be set up after that, you're talking oftentimes in a company 12, 15 other steps they go through. Um, and that was kind of our aha was, there's an opportunity to treat that as one full application, as a DevOps tool set across the entire board. Mm -hmm. um, started down that journey really like three years ago, and um, that's kind of, I think, where we kind of match up. The similar story, they wrap all the important financial data, all the other things that matter to a bank, right? And they're going to a whole bunch of extra tooling, extra data, extra services. Um, but at the core of it, they also leverage GitLab both as a tool to develop their own product and also to offer it as a tool possibly to their end customers, right? So their other customers need to develop, they need a DevOps tool set. So we work back and forth a whole lot on this. They've moved so fast, uh, it's been amazing. And so, every time we sit down, we're like, wait, what if we did, okay, cool, let's iterate, and we have, um, we can turn that around. We ship every month uh, to our customers. Um, you can run it anywhere you want. Uh, the majority of our customers, they love the fact that they can run anywhere, which is back to while Beacon does, runs on Amazon, uh, their customer bases have to run on-prem, right? And you know, while we're seeing that hybrid become more and more common, which is great, that's a truth that's been there forever, right. um, that's a world that we've lived, they live every day and have lived for a long time. And so, it's kind of fun to come here and see that, be like, yes, oh yeah, that does exist. And we're like, yeah, that's existed everybody, for a long Everybody time. caught up. Right, yeah, we're, we're there. And 
there's always going to be reasons for that um, on both directions. And so, um, yeah, so we work really well together uh, on that side, and they push us hard, right? So we're actually right off stage. Uh, we're sitting there in um, uh, just this morning. He's like, hey, you finally finger, you know, you got, I've got all these merge requests that he wants in our product. Well, he opens, it's open. Everyone in the world, anyone that watches this, go open a merge request on GitLab. We're going to track it. You're going to know where it lands. You're going to know when it gets delivered. So, and if you want to write the code, you can write it and it's in. So, it's been actually a ton of fun. And have at it, right? Yes. Well, it, the relationship's working. Good to see. <laughs> yes. And, uh, and you're five months in, and uh, I'm sure the one year anniversary is right around the corner for sure, you. Sure, right? yeah. I'll turn around here before blink. you know it. Great. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Gentlemen, thanks for joining us. Good to have you here on theCUBE. And uh, look forward to uh, hearing about this continuous success down the road, I'm sure. Thank you. Thank Good you deal. so much. Appreciate Brandon. having us. Thank you both. Back with more here on theCUBE. You're watching this live at AWS, reInvent in Las Vegas.